again one of my favorites maps maybe not this version of the map but the other version that we'll get into but this is still cool this is the kind of legacy geo chart as data studio calls it map which is very basic but it loads very quickly it is very clean nice to the eye and sometimes it's just what we need right if we do not need any more functionality or complexity in showing the values, in plotting values over geographic areas. It shades different regions or areas based on the actual value darker is higher. Now, with this one, the only options that we have was to either show up a city or country or region, right? And then, for example, if we were focused on just one country or one continent or subcontinent, we can show a single, what they to be called zone, which can be either a whole world, a subcontinent like Eastern Europe, a continent or a country. Right now I've selected US as a country because I'm plotting data over region as a dimension. So let's look at the integration of these two. So this one, the dimension is region, right? We can have country, we can have continent, we can have city. The metric is number of users, right? And the zoom area is United States, right? We can use different countries, but there won't be any data because this one is filtered. We've seen how we can filter data on a chart in the previous session. Now this one, the dimension is country and the zoom area is work. When we have countries, the zoom area we can select from a list of subcontinents and continents as well. Now, this one is basic, only shows continents, countries, regions, and cities, but what if we want more? This is Google Map Data Studio overlays data over a live, interactive, and customizable Google Map, which is really cool. It's not as clean as the other one. It shows whatever you can usually see on a Google Map, right? It has a legend that actually shows from values for bubbles. It, this is the only one that can show bubbles. And here I'm showing users per country, which for Google Merchandise, so we know that most of the Users are coming from the US. But apart from that, right now it's per country, but the Google map can show very specific geographic fields as well. So it can show postal codes. So if you have a list of zip codes or postcodes in your country, if Google map is able to geolocate, geocode and locate those values on a the map, then it's do that. So Google Maps API is actually doing it. You can show latitude, longitude, so again, this is something that's possible only on Google Maps. Actual addresses, if you have a list of actual addresses that Google Map can really understand where they are on the map, it can show them and plot them. And also, if you have really custom areas, right, and you have them inside Google Cloud BigQuery as geography polygons. So polygons, geographic polygons are certain types of field which you define them, and actually you can define different latitude longitudes so all the points surrounding an area. And if you have it in BigQuery, the Google Mapping Data Studio can actually render that polygon for you. So it is a really nice feature, but I haven't had any chance to actually use it for a live client work, unfortunately, but it's exciting. Apart from bubbles, it can show field areas, just like the SEO chart. So here I have, again, revenue per US state is showing. But something else I wanted to talk about is that this one is interactive. So I can zoom in, I can zoom out either with my trackpad or with these buttons. I can make it full screen. I can zoom in here. So this is usually something that most of the clients that I demoed this feature to, they were excited about it. We can reset the zoom with this icon here. So if I zoom in, there will be an icon. It will reset to the area that I actually have data for. And something else is that we can customize this tiling of this Google map as well. So it has the light kind of seam. It has the dark seam. It has the usual standard seam. And here, most recently, this is this feature of showing the heat map because with, especially with big queries data, when we have latitudes and longitudes, we can plot millions of points on a map and it won't be really efficient to using for field areas or even bubbles. With bubbles, the limit is 2000, but with heat map, it's easier because it aggregates them into heated areas. And as we zoom in, 
it will show us data in a more granular way. So if I zoom into Chicago, for example, we can see the actual values here where they are on the map. And if we zoom out, they, they, they merge together to show hot areas. And finally, the zooming on this map, actually it responds to the filters applied to the table. So if I click on California or let's say New York to filter this report, and we will see about this kind of filtering functionality later on. And if I click here, if it doesn't automatically, usually it does it automatically, but if I click here, then it will zoom in into the area that I've just selected. And if I do this, it should zoom back. Yeah, it did. So it's customizable, it is, and it's interactive, which usually I prefer it over the geochart. And even if you want in this tile tab, we can select silver, standard and dark, and we can edit a JSON object. It's the custom, creating a custom team for this Google map. Maybe we want to customize the colors based on brand colors of our client and make it a custom Google map. We can do it. And the layer of data, bubbles, filled areas, heat map can be selected here. And many more functional, depending on the uh, bubbles have their own configurations. Heat map has its own configuration, et cetera, et cetera. And sometimes we can also allow a street view as well. At the beginning, I would have said that it's a useless feature, but we had a report for a client that they wanted to explore different areas to open new stores and uh, based on the values that we were showing on the map. And it was really nice for them so that they, where they detected an area that they were interested in, they could actually put this guy on the map and see how does it look like and what does the neighborhood look like and things like that, which was interesting in my opinion and useful in that case.